All right, let's just look for a second at horizontal lines and vertical lines and how the equations work for these. So the first one, the horizontal line, they talked about a little bit. And they said the equation is always y equals b. And where that comes from, if you look at y equals mx plus b, right? y equals mx plus b. What you find is the, the slope, right? The slope is a measure of steepness. So the slope of a horizontal line is zero because it, it doesn't go, it's not steep at all, it's flat. And because that slope is zero, it's y equals zero x plus b. But we know zero x, no matter what x is, is zero. So you end up with y equals b. So really the b is the y-intercept. So wherever it crosses, and let's just say it crossed, I don't know, for argument's sake, let's say this thing crossed at uh, 7, right? If it crossed at 7, then the equation of that horizontal line would just be y equals 7, okay? And it's true for wherever it crosses, it's just y equals a number. There's no x value involved at all, right? Now, vertical lines are a little different, and we won't look at them a whole lot, but there is no y value. You can't use this whole slope concept for this reason. y equals mx plus b is where you'd start. But a vertical line has an undefined slope. Because remember, slope is rise over run. And in this case, the rise between any two points. Well, let's say the rise between here and here. We know it goes from 0 to 7. So the rise would be 7. But the run, well, it doesn't go, like, if, if this was 4, let's say for argument's sake that is 4, and it goes straight up and down, it doesn't go from x is 4 to something else. So the, the run side to side is 0, which is undefined. Right? So if the slope, right, remember rise over run is slope, if the slope is undefined, <laughs> this thing doesn't work. It, it blows up because it's undefined. So this is what's known as a special case because x doesn't move. So no matter what y is, x doesn't move. So in this case, well, we'd say this is x equals 4, right? Because it goes through the 4 on the x-axis, okay? There's no way to calculate it. It's just by definition x equals 4, or if it was over here, x equals negative 8, or whatever it happens to be, okay? So y equals a number for horizontal lines, equations, very simple equations, and x equals a number for vertical line equations.